In this video, we'll learn about another automatic digitizing tool in cross-stitch called the Magic Wand. With the Magic Wand tool, you can create cross-stitch from the colored sections of a picture. So it's like the Magic Wand in the embroidery canvas in that you can select which areas that you're going to add stitches to. You can add both outlines and fills to your picture. So we'll switch to picture mode and click on load picture and navigate to the location of your pictures. Your pictures will be found in C Drive, Users, Public, Public Pictures, and Bernina 8 Pictures. And I'll click on the artwork folder. Select the picture and click on Open. I'll switch to the design mode. And then let's get rid of the grid so we can see the picture a little bit better. Now, if I want to select this picture to resize it, I have to return to picture mode. And then I can click on the Select Picture tool and resize the picture. So any resizing needs to be done in picture mode. Go to Design View, and then we'll select the magic wand. When you select the magic wand, you can select the type of cross as well as the color. If you right click on the color and stitch bar, it will open the dialog box for colors and it will remain open. I'm gonna leave this at the default of cross, the full cross stitch, and I'm gonna select the color and I will click on a color chip. Let's hide the picture so you can see and we'll zoom in and you can see the crosses. I'll bring back the picture and then select a new color. We'll have to reselect the magic wand, click on the color and click on the gold. And now stitches are added to the gold. I'll select the royal blue next and I can select a totally different color with magic wand. And that's one of the advantages of using magic wand instead of auto stitch. So I'll select my color again. I'm going to leave it at full cross and I'll click on the red. Now notice what happened with the magic wand tool. Remember the magic wand looks for the color in the bitmap and adds stitches to all of that color. So even though I don't want stitches on top of the flower, it will place them there because I clicked on the color red. That's the way the magic wand works. So there's going to be some editing to do with this design as well. And for one thing, let's get rid of these blue crosses. Another advantage of using Magic Wand, in addition to being able to choose the color that's applied, is that you can pick and choose what part of the design is going to have cross stitches added to it. As long as it's a different colored object, it will totally ignore that object. So I'm going to hide the picture and then I'll click on my Select tool and I can drag a box around the stitches that I don't want and press delete on my keyboard and that will eliminate the stitches. It's usually going to be easiest to hide your bitmap when you do stitch editing.